overall, I think that looks so sweet. In fact, I will have them on display and most likely will have this as the thumbnail. But doesn't that look cool, guys? What do you think? Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Soloway, and I'm back with another Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the movie action figure review. And today we have Knuckles with his ring stand, which... I'm really excited to add this ring stand to the collection and I'll actually have some of these figures walking through it. I think it's gonna be really cool. Of course, this is the, I like to call lightning knuckles because he has a little lightning going through his arms, legs, and chest. And on the back of the package, you can see Knuckles comes with a short little bio. Feel free to pause and read that. It does show the way that he comes in. It says 13 points of articulation, but without further ado, let's open up this Knuckles and let's take a closer look. Boom! Knuckles is out of his package with his ring. As you see, I have him walking through the ring. Uh, I don't think he's going to look really cool with one of the foot uh, going through that ring, but maybe we'll check it out. But overall, I think that looks so sweet. In fact, I will have them on display and most likely will have this as the thumbnail. But doesn't that look cool, guys? What do you think? I already have Sonic and Tails up on the channel. I don't have these two cool guys here on the channel, but you can get those for really cheap at Walmart in the little checkout aisles for about five bucks each. But let's put Knuckles in some more poses and see what else this guy can do. Yeah, so here's Knuckles walking through the ring, so you could even have him on display like that. But overall, I think it's absolutely beautiful. Ten bucks, <laughs> you can't go wrong at all. Let's just put Knuckles in a couple more poses. One thing I do wish, I wish they would get the articulation down to where it actually looks like he's about to spin up and charge and do a devastating attack on Sonic. But overall, I think he looks absolutely sweet. Let's try a couple more poses out of this guy. And here's Knuckles with his dukes up looking like he's about ready to fight sonic from here you can see all that electric lightning and yes you can turn his head and move his arms around which i do appreciate that uh again for 10 bucks you know i really shouldn't be complaining at all because these are just fantastic figures for the sonic the two movie line wouldn't be a sean solo 8 video if i didn't do my typical sonic standing on one foot running pose but yeah these are cool figures definitely highly recommended this wave is now hitting stores uh i've seen them in target i ordered mine from entertainment earth and uh occasionally i'll have little pop-ups in the videos of where you can order these also but let's stand them up next to sonic and see how he looks and here's the new Wave 2 Knuckles and Sonic together fighting each other. Well, not fighting, doing a little bit of a fist bump like we see in the show. But overall, I think these figures are just fantastic. Uh, I can't get enough of it. As I said earlier, let's try and put Sonic like he's coming through this little shield too. Well, ring. And see how that looks. So, But yeah, it's, we'll just stand him just like that. But yeah, overall. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I do wish it was a little bit bigger, but definitely, you know, we, we just can't complain at all. Let me put Sonic in a decent looking pose and we'll stick him back here with Knuckles or Tails, I should say. And let's take a closer look at Knuckles. As you can see, yeah, his face looks great. Nice red eyes. The paint job on this one came out really, really good. You can see the lightning all throughout. I believe that is the only difference from the previous version. And of course, these Sonic the Movie 2 figures actually do come with better articulation, which I believe is just in the elbow. Now, the tails did have a slight up and down movement. This Knuckles doesn't. I wish these were a little bit softer, but again, you can move them around. Uh, but sometimes it might actually pop out the arm. Sorry about that, the camera fell down, but sometimes, yeah, it may pop out the arm, but as you can see, yeah, you just pop it over his shoulder just like that, and yep, the legs will pop out if you like to uh, twist them and pose them similar as I do, but uh, it looks like you got the little quarter moon up on the chest there. What that is, I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments if you guys do know. Maybe it's some sort of this tribal thing, his tail looks like it'll swivel but it actually isn't swiveling for me the arms pop up relatively high but again these uh before you pop them out i need to really tighten up this camera stand but you can see the nice hinge in there looks really good again you just got to pop these in and not mess with them as much as i do 
uh, elbows. They do have a very strong articulation. Again, it looks like this one's about to pop out. Oh boy. But these are definitely some fragile figures, which is a bummer because these are probably intended for younger kids to play with. And I'm sure they get devastated and constantly having to ask their parents to fix pieces for them. But maybe they're not as rough as I am. Uh, as for the legs, yeah, Knuckles kicks up about that high, kicks back about that far. They do have the nice single jointed knee uh, with some swivel in there. The boot, again, has a little bit of tilts and it can go forward and back with some peg holes on the bottom. Now I do have the full wave on the channel and I'm about to review Supersonic. So if you enjoyed this video, kindly throw a thumbs up on it. Click on one of these videos that you see up on the screen and I will see you guys in the next video.